to start our video, our beautiful sunset that will be off of our front porch. And also, I need uh, Ralphie from work. I need you to go ahead and subscribe and give a big thumbs up. A little inside joke, but I was told I need to start the video with that. And back over here to the house. All right, so we're getting pretty close, but there's still a few snags and hangups that we have going on here. I'll go ahead and start with what we're doing with the front porch before we go around to the backside and see some of the issues that we're having. Uh, so from here to here, 20 feet. We're gonna have a 20 foot wide porch that comes out 10 feet. We've got our six holes dug. We're waiting on inspectors to come out here for the building code to make sure everything is good to go. I don't know how, but they missed the field bed. So proud of them for that. But up here, sorry, dogs distracted me. We're gonna do an open gable up here, then merge it into the roof line there. A little dip there and they do need to come back and go ahead and refill some of these spots now that's settled in but open gable there stairs coming off this way and then i'm going to put an extra gravel section here over near the french drain for the cars until we go ahead and at least put the shell up for the barnuminium which we'll use as a garage in the meantime and then i've also got some updates for the good old 72 over here I need to go throw the new car cover on it or truck cover on it that we've got. But those updates will actually be here in two weeks. We had a little issue with some of the updates, so that's two weeks from now. But there are updates and they're out of my control, so I've got to wait. But all of our Porsche stuff is here. So we're good on that. All siding's done. Oop. Hold on, sorry. Got to take a step back. Sorry, I'm trying to rush this. Little man's wanting to ride four-wheelers and everything. And it's about perfect timing now that it's cooled off a little bit. So with our up to 60 mile per hour gust of wind, we've got a little issue right there, but luckily they'll fix that whenever they do the roof for the gable there. Oh, and right here. Now these are the only issues that we have found so far through it all. This one's a nice easy fix. And to be honest, I could fix it, but we have paid someone to do it. So I'd rather that be kind of on them. <laughs> All right, over to the back side. And then we get to our issues that we're having that's holding us up. I believe this is the fourth video, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth video of this whole thing. If this tells you how bad the winds were, right there's the extra fill bed. That was actually where I'm standing. Or it's right there where the lumber is. <laughs> so that tells you how strong the wind was to take that. Still guessing they're going to clean up all this little debris and stuff because that's... All the plastic that was on the side of the house for transport but still here so i'm guessing those guys are gone forever and i'm gonna have to clean it up myself but and we got our post holes here for this porch this one is going to be extremely small but that's because well we spent a lot of money on the front one to be honest uh between this deck and the front porch we're looking i think it was sixteen thousand dollars and could have got it cheaper, but we went with a guy that does a little bit better job. Uh, he's a little bit of the higher end porch builders around here. So we're okay with spending a little bit of extra money. Originally in our contract, it's supposed to be, I think we put in the contract a little under 15,000. So we're making up the difference on that, but we're going to be a whole lot happier with it when it's done with the open gable and all that stuff and not having uh, the shed roof that they told us that we could do. Sorry, I am drawing a blank on it. Uh, this one's not gonna be covered, but it's just gonna come out to here because what we're gonna do for this is, since it's gonna be a little bit before we can get our barn dominium done over there and put it in ground pool, we're gonna put above ground here. And luckily with how tall that crawl space is, I just have to build this up some, level it out, and then I can go ahead and put a pool right here. And I'm gonna build a porch further out with a walkway basically all the way over there. And I'll probably come out to about mid window here and down. And then I would assume with the pool and everything there, a porch to about where I'm standing. Uh, we may do a half moon around it. That's what I'm hoping for because it'd be quicker, easier and cheaper. <laughs> so that's what we're doing for right here. And then over to a few of the little issues that we're having here. Oh, well, other than the, just the two I showed you. Uh, so far, all we should have left uh, they didn't put the chimney in for the wood burning fireplace that we have when they originally installed the house, which I think they were supposed to do. That's what it sounds like. So they have to bring someone else in to do that. They haven't quite shown up yet to do that. 
I'm uh, not sure what's lagging on that. I feel like that should have been done before the roof was finished. Personal opinion. Uh, somebody down in the comments can correct me, but before you cut a hole in the roof, I feel like, or before finishing the roof, you should go ahead and cut the hole in the roof, then finish it. But this right here is our big problem. Man, that's a nice three foot deep trench. Yep. It's been here for about a week and a half now. Uh, something I call the power board that we have here, asking what's going on. They said uh, the company we went with has already called them, asked all their questions. They answered all the questions, but yet uh, he's not heard back from them. So tomorrow I'm going to give him another call, make sure they have reached back out to him. I do know one of the little issues, which this is the great thing about having a modular home. I'm already under contract. I've already paid my dues and everything. So if anything goes over budget, it doesn't come out of my pocket. So uh, they were a little off with the estimate for the underground here and the porches. The porches was a little off, but I requested a higher end porch builder and deck. There it is, babe. <laughs> porch and deck. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was drawing a blank on it's a deck when it's not covered. If I'm not mistaken, a porch of it is covered. <laughs> but... The porch and deck is going to cost 16000 We put in our contract fourteen eight, So we are having to make up that little bit of difference there, which is absolutely fine because we're going to have a whole lot better setup that we're happy with for a long time. Here, we they had estimated us to be at $5,000. I think they said they were $7,600 invested with the increase of the price of the wire and everything to run it back here. Plus... Uh, going around the septic, they had to do a little bit of a bend around it so it's not a 100% straight shot like they were hoping for. So they're, the company that we bought the house from is a little bit over budget on that. So I think that's why they're dragging their feet a little bit just because they don't want to spend the money. And they are hoping I'll be like, hey man, I'll go ahead and make up the difference if you just get it done now. No, that's not how that works. Two and a half thousand dollars to let them drag their feet for an extra week or so. I think we'll save the two and a half thousand dollars. Uh, I think any intelligent person would. So we've got that. Underground electric, which if we have to, we know some people that could possibly save them a few bucks where you know electricians. My wife works with a few. And plus we have one that owns a great electric company at the department. So if it really has to come down to that, usually it doesn't travel out this far. But if it comes down to it, I'm sure we can work something out. So underground electric. Then chimney, gutters, which is waiting on the porches. That's the only reason why that's not thrown on yet. And boom, guys, we should be good to go. From my understanding, everything is fully done inside. It's been really hard for me. It's been a tough, long road not to go in there and snoop around. But I've tried my best because I know there are some little things with ocean saying, well, if you step on a nail and I hurt myself, and which they told me. You're not supposed to go in there because of those things. So that's why we've not gone in yet. But it is really hard whenever you know you're this close, this close. But tell me what you all think. And with the 72, I promise as soon as I can give you an update on that, I promise I will because I'm ecstatic for it and ready to finally do something with this. But we took a little bit different route with this to help the build go smoother. So that's what's taking so long on the 72. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Stop by for the first time. Please subscribe. You all have a great day.